Hey group everyone, welcome to the Ruby League History Channel. I hope you are well and you're looking after yourself. Tonight's video is going to be episode 10 of the Nobody of the Week Award. Now if you're new to the channel, welcome. The Nobody of the Week Award is an award that I give to the person or player or official that does the daftest thing of the week. I've made a playlist of all the other previous Nobody's of the Week so if you want to go check that out, go ahead. Now, if you're liking the content that I'm making and if you're liking some of the other videos and you haven't already subscribed, make sure that you click on that like button, you click that subscribe button and you get involved in the Ruby League History Channel. So as I said, episode 10 of the Ruby League Nobody of the Week Awards. Now this week has been a bit quieter than other weeks. So as I normally do, I go through all the Nobody of the Week nominees, I, I sit down and have a look at it and I give you the winner. And um, I think after careful consideration, looking at all the the winners or potential winners, I've gone for Darren Bruff. I think it's Darren Bruff or Darren Bruff. And he wins the Nobody of the Week this, this uh, week, seeing need to take the Vodafone sponsor off the shares. Telstra will never allow their corporate competition airtime by playing finals. We're pleased to sponsor and I bet things will change. Even Australian journals on Fox are seeing the Warriors are getting shafted. Now, what I've got to see to that is, I think New Zealand's been sponsored by Vodafone for, well, I think going back for 20 years now. And if I'm correct, They've made two grand finals since then and won the minor premiership. Now this lad here is seeing that they're never going to make anything of themselves if they continue to be sponsored by Vodafone. But they won the minor premiership in 2002 while sponsored by Vodafone. They left it at, they led at half time in that grand final. 2011, they made the grand final against all odds. 2018 the mean the final series so i got i don't think it's got nothing to do with vodafone being the sponsor of new zealand i think it's just the fact that they simply weren't good enough this year and they finished six points behind canola to meet the final so that's all i'm going to see about that and darren Bruff, you win me up the other week award this week now we go through some of the other nominees the first one comes from jimmy k jackson who says that damn virus is long gone anyway. I bet half of those, those uh, Muppets in Sydney still get around in mass. Well, the virus is still around, I can tell you. It's a worldwide pandemic. And you can clearly see that it's still around in Australia. And it's even worse over here in England. So I don't know where you go with that. It's clearly a problem and it's clearly a pandemic. And it's something that's going to be with us for the foreseeable future. So I don't know what Rip Van Winkle world you're living in. We go to the next domination, which comes from Peter Titsvaris, who says, what a rot. Then again, expect nothing less from the biggest rotters in the NRL. Now he's talking about South Sydney. And the funny thing about this post is that it comes from a person that goes for Eastern suburbs, Sydney Roosters. Now, They've been known by the nickname the Rodders for years. There's been constant questions about whether they're over the cap, under the cap. There's been questions about some of the games and the refereeing involved. And they've been nicknamed the Rodders for years. So for an Eastern Suburb Sydney Roosters fan to come out and see that South Sydney are Rodders, I find that to be very daft at the very least. The next nomination... Um, that I'm going to include comes from someone by the name of Mitchell Capel, who said, Refs played a, ge a great game tonight for Parramatta, by far their best of the year. This is in, in reference to the Parramatta Brisbane match. Parramatta won 26 to 12. Brisbane were very poor. We weren't that great either, but we had, a couple, we had at least one try disallowed due to a very bad refereeing decision, so. For him to see that the refs played a great game by winning the game for Parramatta, I'm not too sure where he's going with that because 
we had a clear try disallow to Blake Ferguson, so very daft. And as promised, I said to Mitchell Capel, I'm going to fucking put you in the Nobody of the Week video, and I'm doing so right now. Now, going into a couple of um, other nominations, you've got Lucky Singh. Now, Lucky Singh, he's, he's always been ridiculed on Facebook. He's, he's a bit of a Nobody. You can see he permanently, he's a permanent Nobody. And he posted, I swear Warriors deserve top eight spot this season, hands down. Despite their huge sacrifice they did and they played like champions and only missed the finals run due to refs being shafting them in a few matches. Anyways, they will be hard to stop next season with the pack they assembled. Well done and cheer me brothers. Well, what i got to say to that is, um, have you looked at the table? They were clear six points behind Cronulla, plus four and against for that last eight spot. Now... I know that some people have been inspired by the New Zealand side this year and, and what they've sacrificed, but I'm very critical of it. You, look, these people are high-paid high sports stars. Some of them are on half a million quid a year, and they've only been away from home for, say, two to three months. Some of them have got young children, I understand, but... They've been away from their family for, for a couple of months. They're going home next week. They're on big money. Big, big money compared to the rest of the, the real world, the, the, the public, the people that wear cards. So I, I don't think it's a great sacrifice. Look, I'm over here in England. My family's in Australia. My fiance is in Australia. I haven't seen my fiance for 18 months. I haven't seen my parents for two and a half years. Where's my fucking... Um, Where's all my plaudits? Where's all my sacrifice? I don't get known because I'm just a regular person. Maybe if I was a sports star, it'd be different. But I, I'm not inspired by New Zealand. I don't think what, what they've done is special. If they were in New Zealand for the whole year and it was just a regular year, would anyone think any different? No. They'd just see they missed the finals by six points. End of story. And now we go into a couple of uh, player nominations. The first one is from Jed Cartwright. The score was 26 points to 16 in favour of Calibri. 10 minutes to go. South Sydney had the ball. They go through the hands and it falls to Jed Cartwright. He's got a chance to score his first ever try and face screen. And he drops the ball over the fucking line. That could have made it 26 points to 22 and South could have gone ahead and won that game given the fact that we've seen in the past that Canterbury cannot hold on to a lead. So he gets another Noobdy uh, of the Week nominee. And the final Noobdy of the Week nominee goes to the Bunker. Now, they've fucked up a lot this week. I'm telling you, they've fucked up major. But the biggest fuck-up of all was when South Sydney scored in the first half. It was 20 out to Canterbury. South Sydney throw the ball down the right-hand side. It goes to Jackson Parlow. He scores. The referee awards a try. When they go on the replay, his foot's clearly out. And they didn't even check it. What the fuck's going on with that? That could have cost Canterbury the game. Who knows? But, once again, very bad decisions by the the bunkers and the referees. I go back to the, the Parramatta game. I go back to the Canberra game. The players getting sinned in for daft things. I mean, the, let's just hope. Let's just hope that the bunker doesn't fuck up in the finals and doesn't cost the team badly because okay it's a regular season match we can get angry but we can live with it a finals match where it's going to maybe decide a team getting knocked out or staying in it's going to cause massive ramifications so the bunker fucking sort it out you I fucking tell you <laughs> but anyways um, that's me nope day of the week video for this week episode 10 i can't believe we're up to episode 10 and um thank you for your ongoing support everyone in the channel i hope you enjoyed the video if you did click that like button if you're enjoying the content that i'm making click that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you get an email when i do a new video anyways everyone stay tuned for my next video that's going to be the tip video tomorrow the final round of the NRL 2020 season before we get into the finals. So I'm sure you'll all be excited for that. And I'll catch us all later, everyone. Take it easy. Ta-ra.